Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And our topic today is focus on Jesus alone. Many people focus on their careers, on their daily life, on the problems that surround them. But instead, you should focus on Jesus Christ, what he has done for you on the cross, how he has walked the narrow path in his ministry. Follow him. Focus on him alone. Come out of the world and out of Babylon. Do not stay career-based and worldly-based. Do not be part of the beast system where you are working for money but be part of the heavenly system where your goal is to win souls. Walk that narrow path, take the course as Jesus did, focus on Jesus and what he has taught us. Read the Gospels, spread the Gospel of the Kingdom, say that the Kingdom is at hand, call the people to repentance and to a change of their lives to come out of the world and out of Babylon and walk the path towards the holy mountain of Jesus Christ, towards the holy city of David, towards Mount Zion. Mount Zion is not the mountain in Israel. Mount Zion is a mountain not carved by human hands. The mountain that will come down at the sixth seal. That's the reason why the people will hide in caves because something huge is coming down that is mount zion and with that mountain comes not only our lord and savior jesus christ but also our abba father because on top of mount zion is his dwelling place it is a similar pattern to the coming down on mount sinai with moses that's the reason why this is also an exodus, the great exodus, where, we, where you will find the multitude closed and white, standing at the base of Mount Zion, ready to be ruptured into paradise. Do you want to be part of that multitude closed and white? Then join us and walk with us. Build communities of love and righteousness in the world, in the nations. Gather the people together by being an example, by showing forth your light into your neighborhoods. Everybody can start a society of the world and everybody can gather the people together. Try to walk, act and speak as Jesus did. Try to be an example for all the people to see. Do not focus on the world, but stay focused on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is the main focus that you should have. In your eyes there should be Jesus Christ and not temptations, not luxuries, not the world, not a big car, not a big house, not a big bank account. Instead, if you're blessed with resources, share your resources in your communities. Share your resources by lifting up the needy, the nameless, the faceless. Share your resources to help children like we do in our mission to Cambodia. Assist us there, sow into the ministry, help us to bring forth and do that on a monthly basis. Not only once, but help us and assist us wherever you can. Share your resources. That's exactly what the first early Christian also have done. And even in the time of Jesus himself, Jesus had followers who were there and assisted him, allowed him to go from places who stay there, women that followed him, who sold possession to help, to allow that the poor will be treated fairly. All this is not new, but it is a restoration of the altar of old, the true face and the true walk in spirit and truth. Not just stay in the world and say, okay, with one leg I can be for Jesus and with one leg I stay in my careers. You cannot serve two masters. Your focus must be on Jesus Christ alone. And share, share, share. Share your resources. Bring forth. Everybody has access and this access you can share. 
Nobody has said you have to give up everything to stay in poverty. But if you have excess, you can share it. Share it with the children, share it with the needy, share it with the poor. Follow the path of Jesus Christ. Lift up the children. The children especially must be on your heart. So help us in our mission to Cambodia with the children. So into the ministry. The links are in the description box below. And especially for baby Grace, I have an update on the YouTube channel. You can help us with the medicine and uh, for three months additional cost of post-operational costs and treatments and all this you can do if you follow the link in the first pinned comment. Lift up the children, embrace the children. Has not Jesus said that we should be like the children? So whoever is doing anything bad against a child, it is better for him to be dead. That's written in the Bible. Not exactly my words, but similar to that. So come for us, share your resources, learn to share. I know it's difficult because we are trained to keep everything for ourselves. But the times are coming where we have to come together in love, unity and support and to share our resources and to support one another. So join with us, become a member of triple-grace.com, our website. Be a subscriber of our YouTube channel. Help us in our missions. Come for us and establish your own society of the rose in your neighborhood. Gather the people together. Everybody can do that. Call on your people, your family, and build a society of the rose. Empower yourself and let your light shine into the neighborhood. Lift up the needy. Look for the Lazarus at your gate and especially assist and help the children in need. Thank you that you have listened to this topic today. Please stay focused on Jesus Christ alone, not on the world, not on your careers. Make a change. My beloved brothers and sisters, I love you all so dearly. Please assist and help and support wherever you can. Let us be successful in our mission, not only to Cambodia, but to the world. S spread our videos to all the corners of the world. Share them with your friends and your families. Get more subscribers into it so that the people will come and join and walk with us that path to the holy mountain, to Mount Zion. My beloved followers of the path, my dear Rosarians, I love you so dearly. And may God bless you and your family abundantly. And I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.